Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In the last video, we looked upon uh, the mass mass relationship. Like here, we did we uh, did a problem, and I do hope that you were clear with it. If you haven't watched that video, uh, do that check that out. And today's topic is the mass volume relationship. Like in the previous, we have got mass and mass. There were two mass, and we did comparison. We did the stoichiometric relation between them. In today's video, we've got two type of substances. One is in mass kilogram or something while other is in other is in volume and volume it can be in dm cube uh, probably it comes in dm cube but the unit can be changed as well so uh, you know simply i write the topic mass volume uh, i'm not uh, writing proper definition because that is quite clear that you have good two type of substances and you are finding a stoichiometric relationship between them and if you ask what is stoichiometric relationship so check that uh, check my previous video i did clear the concept of that in my previous video in the mass mass relationship so in today's video we're looking into the mass volume relationship we'll be understanding the whole topic by uh, simply solving a problem uh, by problem we will be taking uh, conditions uh, you know uh, we will be looking into uh, you know once you get to solve you know once you understand how to solve problems related to it you will be you know your concept will be clear and with that you will be uh, you know solving the problems as well so i would take a break to write the problem uh, yeah okay so i am back and uh, let me make you understand what the problem says like uh, over here if you do look we have got a mass like this is mass this is the first thing we get to know there is a kind of mass present in the problem what sort of mass it is it is 44 gram mass the quantity is given and it is solid and of course solid do have mass they cannot have uh, you know uh, like liquids or like, you know they are not having a volume uh, they are not in uh, you know measured in liters we have got gram or kilogram for them so we've got 44 gram of solid potassium chlorate kclo3 that is potassium chlorate so that is the first part uh, that shows the as we show as we have the mass volume so we have got the information about the mass like this is the mass these are this is happening to the mass like we have got 44 gram of potassium chlorate like this is uh, this mass is done we have got information about mass so if now the second thing if we for suppose it is asking for 44 gram of solid potassium chlorate and tell the mass of 32 gram of uh, NaCl and now this would be the mass mass because we have again asked about uh, 32 gram of NaCl but here the condition is different uh, that was in the mass mass relationship but this is mass volume so uh, what happens is this uh, this solid potassium chlorate on heating we did heat it like we provide delta H to it on heating decomposes like we have got a decomposition reaction the it the kclo3 uh, breaks down completely like this is completely breaking down when you provide heat to potassium chlorate now this will break into this uh, and there will be also liberation of oxygen like uh, the we need to write the equation and there would be a balance equation like oxygen would be going into the environment but uh, while we will be getting uh, kcl or potassium chloride uh, in the form of residues or we can say solid form uh, gas O2 now this gas gases are uh, you know they are asking for the volume of gas so gases do remember that we uh, in many of the cases we measure gases in the form of volume so the volume is also done like mass is KClO3 while the volume is gas that is oxygen so let me like uh, you know i would like to write the formula of it uh, for the equation like we have got kclo3 k uh, c l o3 potassium chlorate kclo3 would decompose like uh, when we provide heat decomposes delta h it decomposes into kcl that is the uh, KCl. This is solid, as it is mentioned in the question as well. And 
this is KCL uh, probably this would be solved as well as far as I know and a part of it will be getting uh, some oxygen that would be liberated and that would be in gas form and uh, that would be of course having volume so we have got mass and volume we need to balance it so oxygen 3 and 2 we need to add over here like uh, need to come over here 2 4 we need to put 2 over here and what will happen is that 2 KCl plus 3O2 now this is balance yeah, this is kind of balance right so uh, there are many methods to solve this but I've got a short method kind of short method what we'll be doing is that we'll be first of all underlining the things which uh, are we are concerned with like we are concerned with KClO3 this thing and we are not asked about KCL like this would not come this would not come we are asked about oxygen determine the volume of the gas like in here we are asked about oxygen so we will have no concerns with KCL in this question what we will be doing is first of all uh, we will be taking data from uh, equation from equation like we are equation we have written we will be taking out uh, data from that what will be taking out data we will be taking first of all the moles are uh, the moles involved here what are the number of moles it is 2 2 and w there would be a ratio between this like here I am writing big dots 2 ratio what is the ratio of oxygen that is 3 2 ratio 3 like here it is it is here or this is the 3 ratio this is this is the mole and this is the ratio the, the mole ratio this is the molar ratio in them now uh, what we will do is that uh, we will be looking from uh, from quotient uh, from quotient we are asked to find out uh, the, the volume of the gas that will be produced by 44 gram of uh, solid potassium chlorate so uh, we are taking all the things in form of mole so 44 gram uh, we will be taking 44 gram that is given a question of KClO3 we will be converting it to mole then putting it over here and we will be getting our answer so as we know that uh, mole is equal to uh, you know if you haven't watched the video of finding a mole you do check that out I am doing a diet or uh, you know we will be dividing 122 oh sorry 44 divided by 122.5 uh, so we will be getting uh, 0 0.4 we got 0 0.4 moles 0 0.4 0.4 moles and we are unknown about uh, this this thing we need to find that and after finding this we will be applying a formula from which we will be getting the volume of the gas this is kind of a long process but that is quite easy if you get to know it how to solve it alright moving forward uh, let's solve it as we did in the mass mass uh, till here uh, all the things are around similar but here we are taking mole and in mass mass we are taking masses it is a difference in mole mole uh, sorry in mole mole uh, sorry in mass mass we do take um, you know in form you know form of grams and mass and in volume mass or mass volume and volume volume we take them in form of moles here uh, we have the ratio we write this as 3 upon 2 upon 3 is equal to uh, 0 0.4 upon x 0.4 upon x so for the solving it 2 divided by 3 uh, you know uh, I'm just writing the answer right now uh, direct x is equal to if you simplify it uh, you'll be getting 0 0.6 0 0.6 mole so that is the mole of oxygen I uh, do remember that the problem is not solved right now this this is the uh, this, this is the mole of oxygen uh, that was involved uh, right we've got these four values and from this here we're driving uh, having a formula and after that uh, we're looking into it like we have got uh, the x value 
and we have a formula as we are asked for finding the volume of the gas uh, volume of the gas so uh, finding the volume formula is uh, like this n mole is equal to uh, you can just shift the values or there and you know you can uh, let me write it first uh, given volume given volume upon uh, stp volume that is 22.4 dm cube stp i'm just writing a short form stp volume so you can just if you want to uh, you know first of all you need to uh, you need to find value of n like we are having 0.6 mole and over there we are having uh, like uh, we do know that mole formula is given mass upon molecular mass so uh, we have found the given mass uh, that is uh, we need or do not need to you know uh, we this is given over here like this is what we have found over here we have found it over here so uh, 0 point sorry point 6 is equal to uh, given mass what is the given mass uh, we are finding the given mass in the volume it asks for find the mass so we are not known this is this would be uh, volume like given volume sorry this was not given mass it was given volume v upon stp 22.4 22.4 This is a point over here, dm cube. So, uh, what do we find is that we have got uh, like a volume would be equal to really shifting values. Uh, like you need to, this will be going here, multiplying will be getting answer that would be equal to 13.44 uh, dm cube. This is how did you form, you know, solve it, and this is a volume. And <coughs> I do hope that you had <coughs> learned uh, something new, and meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye.